With melting ice, that's obviously going to contribute to sea level rise and there's a lot of low-lying islands, like amazing beautiful places around the world which we might completely lose. But there's a, a time lag between the time that you know you pump the fossil um, pollution into the air and you see the impacts. So. And I think that's the thing, right? It's yeah. Like delayed gratification. Yeah. When there's a, an earthquake in Haiti and you see those images on TV, it's very easy to be compelled to act, and, and we're very good at doing that. Same with Grenfell, you know. Um, when the issues are very immediate and within our proximity of awareness. Um, uh, and you know, those are the sounds and things that we're seeing and hearing as well. It's it's easier to do, but these are things that we're talking about. This is really really bad, but it's <laughs> going to happen like a little bit later on, and we're not quite sure when. But it is really bad, so yeah. we need to prepare for it now. And I think uh, hopefully I'm on the right track here. That that's part of the reason why it's difficult to get people to really buy into it and really get involved. Um, as much, would you agree? Yeah, I, I do think though that it's changing and you can already see, you know, uh, people are starting to change their lifestyles and there's a lot of renewable energy being stored all over the world. So I do think people are actually and, waking and, and up. And on the topic of renewable energy, what do you think um, is the way forward? You know, you've got Elon Musk and electric cars, you've got, uh, you know, wind farms generating electricity, tidal power, geothermal energy, um, which one of those are, are going to be the future, do you think, yeah. or could be, and, and why haven't we seen it yet? I think it's a bit of everything, okay. and uh, we are seeing it actually already, uh, like a lot of places, that, there's a few countries around the world that are already 100% powered by Is it Portugal? Uh, Costa, Rica Costa Rica is one, okay. and some of them have like a whole week, you know, where it's purely renewable energy. That's amazing. Um, so, you know, it's already happening really. And I think we need all the technologies we can. We won't necessarily know uh, without trying all the different types of renewables. Germany has some good policies on, on renewables. Um, Denmark, you know, there's a bunch of countries we can look all over the world. And China also is now producing a lot of renewable energy technology. Okay. So that's And, and conversely, who would you say are the kind of, um, the number one suspects when it comes to, there's a lot of reform needed. Well, I would still say it has to be America, to be honest, and Donald Trump has not helped the situation at all. Um, but yeah, it's important not to get too pessimistic because actually there's still a lot of US companies, businesses, investors and that was really interesting who are going green as well. When, and cities. when he did come into power and he, and he started to talk about climate change and he wasn't as um, assertive as people wanted. There are a lot, I think there was a letter that a bunch of companies and people signed to say, well, our president might not say this, but we're saying it and we're the people of America. So I agree with you there that, yeah. you know, he's so loud and orange that it's a bit of a distraction and, and kind of takes up all the attention. But actually there are lots of positive things happening as well yeah. um, in America right now.